Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to Friday. It's a little overcast outside. It's red inside. And today we're going to talk to you about how to take all this customer stuff we've been talking about all week, make a difference for you and your business. Grab a cup of coffee, stick around. We'll be back right after this. This is seven minutes in the morning, where five days a week, you get tips and hacks dedicated to helping business owners and leaders just like you find and break through the one thing that is preventing your success. And now here's the host of seven minutes in the morning and your results coach, Tom Rigsby. Hey there, everybody. Good morning. Welcome to the show. My name is Tom, and this is 7 Minutes in the Morning, the show where we talk about how to start, grow, and enjoy the benefits of business ownership and entrepreneurship. When you get here, do as Catherine has done already today. Go ahead and leave a comment. Say hi, hello, good morning. How you doing? What's in your coffee mug? Whatever. Doesn't, whatever, whatever sounds good to you. It's good to me. Just like to know that you're here. And in fact, that's the end of my coffee, so it's a short show today. <clears throat> Listen, uh, if you get any value from this show by the time it's over or in the middle, that'd be fine too. Go ahead and leave the old stars, star, stars, hearts, thumbs up, likes, whatever is appropriate in the venue where you are watching or listening today. We're going to put a bow on this customer talk we've been talking about all week and um, actually put some legs on it so that you can make a difference in your business and uh, what you're doing. And this is how we do it. I titled today's show, bigger, um, Make a Bigger Difference, Make Bigger Profits, something along those lines. But that all originates with this quote from a friend, J.V. Crum, <clears throat> who says, the bigger the difference you make, the bigger the profit you can create. The bigger the difference you make, the bigger the profit you can create. So think about that for a minute. Hey, Nestor, good morning. Um, if, if revenue or profits are an issue, then rather than thinking about how can I get more customers, <laughs> how can I create a bigger difference for them? I had this conversation yesterday. I was talking with a, uh, a prospective business owner and we were talking about how how to do pricing and how to talk about um, the the service that they were doing i'll tell you a couple of details to fill in a little bit of the context uh, it was an event planning right someone's doing event planning and i said okay well, who's you know kind of what's the problem that you're solving for your customer and there were a couple of problems that she noted there and i said okay these are all Here's how you make the difference in pricing. Here's how you make a bigger um, impact, a bigger difference for your customer. These things about being creative and giving you time back and this, that, and the other, these are all good, but these are all pre-event, right? If you focus on, on life milestone events, right? Like milestone birthdays, graduations, um, anniversary parties, uh, engagement parties, wedding receptions. Those are life milestone events that the planner, the person who calls you, the customer wants to participate in. So yes, I can, I can be creative and come up with some ideas for you that maybe you wouldn't have thought of, but how about if I just make sure the thing goes off without a hitch and you get to relax and participate, enjoy the event. Now, of those two, which one's going to have the greater impact on the customer? I mean, you're doing the same thing, you're doing the same work. It's just the way that we talk about it. Or maybe you're not doing the same work. Maybe you think once I get this thing planned and the party starts, it's all yours, baby. Right? Think about how to create a greater impact. How to make a bigger difference. And I'll tell you a secret. I mean, here's, here's, here's the secret. It needs to be an emotional impact. Right? That, that party planning client is worried about missing the, the toast or worried about missing the dance or worried about something. 
and they're worried and they can't enjoy the party. Let me help you enjoy the party. Wow, that, I mean, that's much, that's much more impactful than just coming up with some creative ideas that maybe they wouldn't have thought of. So think about this from the perspective of your customer. <coughs> Excuse me. Even, even if you think what you do is a commodity. <clears throat> and, and look, let me, let me point this out. We, almost everybody thinks what we do is a commodity. Because what we do tends to be easy for us. That's why we do it. And if it's easy for me, then why would anybody ever pay me for this? Because it's not easy for them. Right? So stop thinking, yes, I take the stress so you can enjoy the day. That's a great one. Think about, think about it from the perspective of your customer. Right? It's not easy for them. It's a challenge for them. It's stressful to them. How do you relieve the stress? Right? Get rid of the stress of running your business and get back to enjoying your business. I mean, that, I mean, that's one of mine that I've used in the past, but that, that, think about it that way. What can you do to create an emotional response to your customer? If you paint houses, I mean, I'm going to be dismissive of this because I know it's harder than I'm going to make it sound. But if you paint houses, anybody can go slap paint on the house, right? We, uh, we'll make you proud of your house again. Oh, see, that's tapping into that emotion. And that emotion is more impactful than a fresh coat of paint. Just think about that as you, as you get ready to start your day, but set an alarm on your phone, <clears throat> close Facebook <clears throat> as soon as we're done, close Facebook and spend five minutes thinking about how the, the emotional words that you can use that will have a greater impact on your customer. Start working those into your conversations today. And I guarantee you, you will see a greater impact and, and greater responsiveness from your prospects and from your customers if you'll do that. Thanks for being here this week. I appreciate it. If you got value today, be sure and hit the old stars, hearts, thumbs up, likes, whatever's appropriate in the venue where you watch or listen. I got it right that time. And uh, click on the share button underneath this video. Share it with your network. Somebody out there needs to hear today's message. They will give you the, the credit for connecting them with me. And I'll appreciate you forever and always. All right, that's it. You guys have a great weekend. Be back here Monday for another new installment of talk, talk radio, another new installment of seven minutes in the morning. You guys take care.